Grief shaming is sort of this new term that I use for when we make judgments or decisions about people's public face of mourning and whether we think it's acceptable. And what we're really doing when we grief shame somebody else is pointing out how deeply uncomfortable we are with our own emotions. So in a conversation, grief shaming might look like, why haven't you gotten rid of their clothes yet? Um, it's, I think it's especially when we come with that sort of therapist voice and that hush tone and the tilt of the head, that's grief shaming, right? That is, whatever you're doing right now is making me super uncomfortable and I need you to stop, but I need it to, I need you to be sure that you understand that I have your best interests at heart. And I think that's the tricky thing is, you know, we think, but I have good intentions, right? I want to see my person not being sad anymore. And, you know, you're, your intentions are awesome, but if the way that you're clothing your intentions is with shame or with judgment or belittling somebody, then your good intentions don't matter, right? We want to match your good intentions with your outward behavior. 